Hey, what's up, ladies and gents? It's Reaper Steve here, bringing you a Let's Play. I've not done one of these in quite some time, and I figured I might as well start. There's a new game which has just been released that I've been kind of looking at for a little bit. I say just been released, this has been out for a little bit. I haven't picked it up purely because I didn't want to straight away, but at the same time, I now like it and I want to, I want to give it a go. So I figured we might as well have a quick butchers at it and get 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 to grips with it. Now, I played Prison Architect for quite some time, a little bit on stream, a little bit off stream, you know, just doing it on my own, that kind of thing. Thoroughly enjoyed doing it, and I wanted to make a, a new series like this. So, we're playing Sim Airport. Sim Airport is a game released by, I believe, the same developers as uh, the guys who brought us, um, what's them called? Uh, Prison Architect. So, you know, really good game, very interesting. You know, quite looking forward to playing this and, and getting into the grips with it. Um, I haven't touched it as of yet. This is the first playthrough, so you're watching me try things for the first time live. I have watched some videos on it. I have watched some tutorials on it, uh, but ultimately this is you know first 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 time playthrough. We're gonna do a few things first. Um, just stuff that I remember doing in um, Prison Architect. Um, we're gonna first of all get rid of this deliveries area like that, and we're gonna make it a little bit bigger because I remember playing Prison Architect and always running out of freaking delivery space and you need a big space to start building some of the stuff that we're going to do. We're also going to clear this area of everything because we don't need to, uh, a small ass um, restroom area. Uh, yeah, we'll get rid of that area. Um, and we're going to classify it as none so we don't have the restroom part and we're going to rebuild our restroom. So our restroom is going to be about that big. What we're going to have though going through the restroom is a wall. So we need to build foundations. No, we need to build foundations first, like that. And then we're going to build a wall that will go through to the middle. And then we'll have a door there. So it's pretty much the same thing there, but just up there instead. It's going to help me with flow through. Um, from this area here, which is the check-in desk, uh, the arrivals de departures desk, whatever you want to call it, um, and it's going to just help with flow. We need to increase the security area because once I delete that, that's going to make it unsecure and it's not going to be allowed flights. And then what we're going to build after that following is our baggage routing station. Um, it requires a taxiway or runway, so we're going to be building it up against that, and we're going to do all our underground stuff with that. We also need to then think about putting a hangar in place, which I'm going to do now, in fact, purely because um, it would help to have that ready to go, and it takes up quite a fair chunk of money at the same time. Okay, so we're going to hit play. Um, we're actually going to hit five times just so I can get this up and running a little bit quicker. Uh, we're not going to be bringing any flights in for the time being. We're literally just going to do our research to get our chief financial officer. That will allow us to increase our, uh, our bank loan. We're currently locked at 50, uh, 50k. Oh no, we're locked at nothing, but I want to get up to 50k as soon as possible. So, here we go. Let's get this show on the road. Um, security, we're going to do that while they're doing their thing. Just to re-plant the security so it doesn't stop the airport gate from working. Um, all these little objects here, uh, the sink and the toilets, they're going to stay in a minute. We're going to basically be reusing them to stop us from having to use money um, on our own uh, thingy with jiggy. What's it called? You know what I'm on about. Well, I would hope you know what I'm on about, at least anyway. Um, we are going to clear this wall out as well. And while that's doing all its thing, because it's going to take a little bit of time for it to build the hangar and do the restroom stuff, we're going to start doing our ticket lines. So we're going to have a line that looks exactly like the normal airport lines that you would expect to see. And it's going to look a little something like that. We're going to make it pretty short because we're going to fetch in like one or two flights here and there. Um, and I kind of want to see how this works before we do anything. Right, we now need a check-in thing. What the, that's the ticket kiosk, there we go. We're going to place a couple of these down because I want to see if these work also. Uh, we need to assign a queue to that and assign another queue to that. So now, in theory, when we get passengers, they should come into this line, use this line, check in with the ticket staff and uh, you know, work its way through that. So I can see my restroom is almost done. 
I'm going to go up now and I'm going to clear out that because we don't need a double inside wall. And we are going to quite a secure area. Okay, yeah, we go with that. Security to there. That should hopefully. No, it doesn't. What is this doing here? Actually, no, we could probably make this entire area secure now that we've deleted that out. Is that right? No, I haven't done that right, have I? Let's get rid of that. And we'll build a foundation like that. Oh, wait, the foundation's already there. We should put a wall in. Okay, there we go. Uh, what we need to do is put floor in like that. We need to put floor in, in there. And I need to reassign that entire room as a restroom. So let's do this. Right, okay. What we now need to do is get this in space enclosed, which we've done. Uh, it's under construction at this moment, so the flooring's going to go in. And then once the flooring's all sorted, we should then start putting stuff in place. We're going to put a wall about here. And we need two doors. Door. Uh, I wonder if this key works. Yeah, it does. Cool. Right there and there. Okay, so we've now signified that this is going to be a restroom for us. It's an enclosed space, which is perfect, exactly what we want. And we're kind of oblonged, but, you know, whatever, it's all good. So we need to put toilets in. So we're going to do a row of toilets, like so. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we do a row of toilets here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We need sinks. Uh, which we're going to do, and my mouse is just like curling across the table. Ah, oh, we're a little bit too bloody small in here now. Right, okay. We do need to clear this wall then, and we're going to build it down one. Uh, but we can still do the sinks in the other one for the time being, so... That is definitely not what I wanted. That is what I wanted. Sink, okay. Sinks, we're going to have all the way across here, like that, there. And I may as well put this in place, ready. Right. Uh, floor in, like that. Ready construction, come on, get the construction away. That, like that. And then we need to put another wall, like there. Now, I don't think this is secure still, so it's not. So what we're going to do, once that wall is built and the bathroom is sorted, we're going to basically just take the security office all the way up to there. Uh, we'll do that now in fact, because we probably can. Quite a secure area. Okay. We'll figure this out in a second. Can I do that? Like that. I wonder if I can get like a big door, like a sliding door. There we go. Oh, that's too small. That should be just about right. A lot of money as well for that. Okay, requires what? Sink. Okay, sinks. Sink. Uh, block my toilet. Oh, wait there. No, no. Toilet. What am I doing here? What's, what's missing? Close space. Why is not working? Toilet? Sink. Oh, zone. <laughs> I was like, what the hell is going on in this thing? That should hopefully fix my issue. Yeah, there we go. So we now have function toilets and we have all that sort of stuff sorted. Okay. We have our hangar sorted. We're going to assign a vehicle, which is going to be a baggage cart. We're going to do a small hangar for the time being, purely because we're only going to do this just so that we can get our airport opened. Right, that is quite a bit of money, but it's going to be worth it. So, we now need a carousel, which we're going to place like so. Should we do two? Yeah, we can afford to do two. So we'll do two, and we'll get conveyors running out. So, conveyors like this, all the way down to here, all the way down to there, and across to that person right there. Now these are going to cross over each other. It should be okay. 
We need to wait for them to finish the construction first. Because they're going to go underground anyway. That here. Oh no, it didn't work. Okay. Uh, we can fix this actually. Because all we do is this, that, not that. Let me get rid of that. We need to get rid of these. Like so. Can I do it like that? Maybe. Well, at least we got our CFO so we can get our, our rates up now. Um, actually, do you know what? I'm going to demolish all that and I'm going to redo it now because I don't like the way that's that's looking. We know we definitely need to have this lot down here, so let's do this here real quick. Let's just get rid of it all real quick. And we'll come back to sorting that out in a second. What we now need to do is make an office. And the reason we need to make an office is for our fine new... Uh, gentleman who is going to be our chief financial officer. I don't want it right next to the ticket area, that's my issue. I kind of want it here. So what we'll do is we'll build a foundation. We'll build it somewhere in the region like that. 6 by 7. Let's take it to 7 by 8. 8 by 7. Um, and that should hopefully allow us to make a little office for him. Um, we'll zone it as office now as well. Like that. And he'll tell us what we need. So it's under construction, so we'll wait for the finished construction first. Yeah, I know, I know, I know it needs to be connected to those two. Sell that for 9,000. I just thought it functional, okay. Right, so we're, we're good. For, we're good for a minute. Let's get this up and running first, because then I can start. Get, I can do a loan real quick, and I can basically get that baggage carousel thing up and running. Uh, I need to do some lines real here, so let's do this real quick. Oh, did I press something? There? Right, it needs to be in close space. I know I keep going back and forth to different things, but. I'm going to give this guy some cheap ass carpet because we don't have a lot of money and he needs a door, DWR, door, door like that. He needs an office chair, office, yeah he does, um, right like that and he needs a desk so we'll give him that also, uh, let's, let's do this like my room, so. like that and then we'll give him a desk and a chair as well. Okay. Uh, staff. Cool. Right. It's not good. Oh no, I need to research a bank for him. She. Yeah. That's fine. Okay, we can do that anyway. Um. Okay. So we need to sort out our lines for here. Start hip up there. And again, in true Apple fashion, we're going to make it like this. So they come in and they do their thing. Right, okay. You, my darling, need to be assigned to all passengers. Close that down. Okay, so we now have kind of a functioning airport. We have a baggage car. We need to sort this baggage uh, tracking issue out. Um, so we're going to do that real quick. Um... Uh, Mm. I wonder if I can destroy that real quick. Yeah, I can. Because I, what I'm now thing with is that that could really be placed a little bit better. House is a little bit too uh, eager to get that in. Oh, demolish any underground things. Yeah, I think it was a little bit too eager. Um, I wonder. How much does a taxi rate cost? 
16,000. Yeah, we could do that. We could do 16,000. Maybe just bring it underneath there like that. Yeah, we can do that. Okay. We need to get our bank bonus research. It's halfway, nearly enough halfway there, so we'll get that sorted and then we'll start fashioning flights as soon as we have a baggage uh, carousel up and running. So that area is all secure, it's perfect. Heat map, we don't need to check. We haven't got any dirt anywhere, so that's fine. Right, let's do this properly. That, okay. I think we may have done that, which is perfect. We'll leave that do its thing. And we're nearly there with bank loans. Now, the reason why I want to get a loan before we do any kind of like flights in and out is because I know from experience that this is going to cost me money. <laughs> the game will always find a way of, of trying to screw you. So it's probably best if we do that first. It would be nice if we could get a, um, a cafe going on here as well, but. That's for uh, another time, maybe. Right, let's see how the work is getting done on that. Okay, we're almost there. There's not that much left to do on that. I wonder. Let's try and see if we can fetch an afternoon flight in. What time in the afternoon? That's any question. Uh, it's 4 a.m. right now, so do that. Schedule this fight a little bit later in the afternoon to give us all the time. And we should have our first flight coming in in a couple of hours' time. So we'll get the the conveyor sorted and then we will get one flight in to see what the flight does. Uh, or how it does basically. I wanna I wanna know that I can definitely get the flights in and out and that everything is working fine and, and whatnot. So we need to build a queue system here, like that, which I think should allow us to assign to, assign to that. Uh, that doesn't need to be assigned, that doesn't need to be assigned. Uh, right, I think we're okay. I'm tempted to fetch on another janitor, purely because I don't want it to do that. I want I want one more security person for definite. Right, okay. Are we done up there now? Yeah, we're good. Okay. That's fine. So we got an aircraft coming in pretty soon. We got two janitors, we're gonna have security. Hopefully, and I mean hopefully, we should be able to get this flight in and get all the passengers through the airport and actually make some money. I think our bank loans is done as well. I'm not going to get a bank loan yet. I'm going to wait. I want to see what this does. Because if this aircraft comes in and everything works out fine with it, we should make a bit of money anyway. It's, Jesus Christ, that's a two hour fucking arrival. It's coming in a couple of hours as well, so we'll, um, we'll see what this does anyway. Restrooms all functioning. Baggage, carousels are functioning, ticket office is functioning. That looks a little bit too small, but we're okay, we'll leave it for a minute. Okay, we should be expecting drop offs in the next like minute or so for us, but in game an hour. And this will be our first set of passengers to come through the airport. So this should be very interesting. So I, I, I paused the game to figure out why this aircraft wasn't coming in, because I'm like, yo bro, you know what I mean, there should be an aircraft coming in, we definitely scheduled it, you know, there it is, between quarter to six and quarter to eight, right, it's, it's an hour late, where the fuck is this aircraft, you know what I mean, I'm like, requires afternoon arrival, you know, this, this like 15 minutes, and then the afternoon arrivals have got like the last hour, then I realised we have a status button, we have no flights today, 
our first flight is tomorrow. <laughs> um, so evidently we're not going to see the arrival of our first aircraft today, but we're going to see it tomorrow. So it doesn't really matter either way. We can still um, <clears throat> see the aircraft. Um, I'm just actually contemplating now whether or not we get a loan. Because if I did, it's, it's going to be 50k. I mean, that should keep us occupied for a little bit, right? Let's get the speed back up. We don't have... Actually, no. I've got the hiccup spare me a second. Let's, let's do this. Let's take one morning aircraft to come in tomorrow in the morning as a trial run. Let's do that to see what happens. Our schedule should show tomorrow 4 a.m. to 6 a.m. Uh, 6, yeah, 6 a.m. What we're going to do though is we're going to bump it up a little bit so we get it to arrive at 6 and leaves at 8. That gives us plenty of time then throughout the rest of the afternoon to be able to figure out what issues we have, if any, and where we need to uh, where we need to resolve them. Okay, the carousel. We still have one more carousel that's not uh, being connected up, so we'll do that real quick while uh, while we'll waiting for time to tick over. We're back at 81k on the old bank balance. Uh, my total expenses is not a huge amount, so I'm hoping that, that will. What the hell? Why ain't you working, huh? Why ain't you working? Baggage carousel conveyor. Why not? Ah, haha, <laughs> there it is. We'll do another one. <laughs> Helps if you zoom in. Zooming in tends to work a little bit better, trust me. Uh, Alright. <clears throat> so our baggage carousel is all working. We're ready to take flights, I think, boys. I think we are ready to take flights. I might extend this out a little bit more. And do a little bit of a zigzag thing again. Yeah, I'm gonna do that while we have a bit of time. Um, <clears throat> do it like this. You still get people off the uh, off the old conveyor thing. Sign to sign for passengers close. So they should, in theory, go like bang up there. Hey, how's it going? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yada 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 yada. Let me get my thingy magic sorted out, and then they'll come back down this way and they'll go, okay, we need to go through security to this guy, and then he's gonna scan their bags. They're gonna go in there, and then they're gonna mill around. Okay, first set of passengers. Let's uh, see if this works. Okay, this is gonna. This is getting. This is getting busy. Um, <clears throat> they've got a little bit of time before their flight comes in. Right now, they're they're not happy. Why are they not happy? Right, restrooms are a little bit stinky. This passage is a little bit stinky. Okay, that's the offloading flight. And people to pick up the bags. Okay, I think I think we may have our first successful flight. 86 passengers need to be boarded within 30 minutes. We're almost there. I think we're going to make it. I think we're going to do it. It's gone. And no one missed their flight. Oh, Jan, this is still running around. We did it. We did it. We did our first flight. Um, wow. Okay. All right. We, we're good. I think, to be honest with you, that actually went better than I expected it to. So I'm, I'm pretty happy with that, and I think that was a, a valuable um, kind of time. We're going to put some benches down, just because I noticed that people were getting a little bit pissed off at the stand-up, which, you know, you would be, wouldn't you, you know what I mean? Just... Is that like that or like that? No. I want to see what this one looks like first. Ah, uh, we need metal detectors. Um, do we have metal detectors here? Okay. Yeah, 
with push machine style like that. My mouth detectors are up and running. Okay, that's fine. So we, we could, in theory, if we really wanted to. Oh my god, dude, we got more passengers coming in. And he passed through metal detector and sat down immediately. Okay, he's gonna go to the bathroom. Right. 96% boys. We might actually get some friendly people here soon. Alright, we need to build a new bathroom. I think we need to build a bathroom like here. So people haven't gotta go back all the way through the airport to get back to the bathroom. But another successful flight. I would say. I mean, people are getting picked up. No one's annoyed. Um, environmental sort of things. There's a lot of dirt there, but that's going to be the case. Yeah, I think we need to build a new bathroom. So we'll do that now. Should we do a new bathroom? I mean, we could. I think I'm not. I'm not really ready for another flight yet. I don't think. I think it was nice to see a trial run like that where we could see, you know, two quick flights coming in and departing and, you know, seeing where we are money-wise and what wherever we're doing. What we got to remember though is that that bank balance is actually 20k, not 50, not 71k because of the bank balance, that uh, bank loan we took. So yeah, I'm going to build a bathroom and then we're going to call it here for a little bit and we're going to come back and look at this uh, at another date. 10 by 10 maybe. Yeah, 10 by 10 is going to be a fucking huge bathroom, but worth being a huge bathroom for the fact that we get to, uh, to have a lot of you know, people coming back and forward. So I could now, if I wanted to, is take these flights off, but I'm not going to. I'm going to build around them, because if I terminate them, then I'm going to lose 5k real quick. Um... I'm going to designate this entire area restroom. And we are going to build a new wall right here. Actually, we're going to put carpet down in here as well. Well, I think we need to do work, more workers as well. Let's get two more workers. We want things to be built a little bit quicker so that we can um, ensure that you know we are meeting our recommendations. Okay, we're like we're hovering around like 80, 80 plus. Do you know what I mean? I'm, I'm right with eighty plus. Eighty plus is good with me. That's a good number. It's not quite like a yeah you hundred percent hundred percent would be even better, but uh, yeah I'm I'm right with eighty plus. Oh no, Sandy. Oh no, what are they unhappy about? They're hungry and they're frustrated. How do we reduce their frustration? Okay, we need to make it less frustrating for them. So we do that next. One of those as well for the time being. And one of these as well. I'll put two down. Okay, we need toilets and sinks. That's the most awkward looking door I've ever seen in my entire life, but fuck it, it's there for a reason. Right, so we're gonna do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, seven, twelve. We'll do that. And then we're gonna do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We'll leave a little bit of space in between. Actually, you know what? Oh, we'll just do that. Why not? Why not? I mean, the more toilets, the better, right? <clears throat> we need to put something down to keep them entertained, so... 
We're slowly running out of money, yeah. Slowly but surely running out of money. We got more airlines asking for us to, to take off from here. Um. Acceptance is two and a half thousand, two thousand six hundred, three thousand four hundred. Um. Leave that for a second. Hey, they're a lot happier. Not, not a lot happier. Needs rest. Okay. What can we put down for them to rest with? More chairs, maybe. Yeah, we'll put down a, a couple of benches here and there. Should be plenty of benches for them. And we have like you know two big ass bath uh, three big ass bathrooms now. And enough area for resting. And what we'll do is we'll see how the next flight goes. And hopefully that will uh, be nice. Right now we got a good rhythm going though with it. We know one coming at six and then one leaving at six in the evening. Uh, one coming in, in at six leaving at eight, one coming at quarter six and leaving at quarter eight. So like we do have a, a nice even flow. Um, I just wish we had trash collectors. There you go, it's hundred bucks for the trash collection service. And we should have passengers arriving pretty soon for the next flight out. And I think what we're gonna do with the next batch of money that we get is we are gonna conditions are wasting. Great. Flight from here. Uh, that's an afternoon flight. Really, we want one in like. We want a decent one in the afternoon. You know what I mean? 5,000 per flight. That's a night flight. I wonder, can I. How much is it upgrade, do you think? Where's my runway? There it is. Okay, that's a lot of money. Okay, we're, we're gonna need to take a loan in a minute. All right, they seem to be happier and they seem to be rested ish. It could be a lot more. <laughs> um, but we're making money. I mean, we are making money, can't deny that. 80, 90% maybe, yeah. Duty in yellow. Yeah, he's seventy four percent, not bad. We need to take on more janitors and we need to come back and revisit this unhappiness and well rested uh, kind of situation that we're in as well. So, this has been uh, my first last week video. I'm Reba Steve. If you've enjoyed the video, please hit the subscribe button and also the like button. Uh, likes actually do help, not in the sense that I get anything from it, but I do get a certain satisfaction of knowing that people are enjoying the stuff that I'm putting out. But if you guys are new here, hit the subscribe button and uh, we'll catch up again next time. Peace out.